will answer any questions that you have. Captain Johnson, there's been so much criticism of what have been described as military-style tactics, and that's what that looked like out there tonight. Are you satisfied that that was the appropriate response to the threats that you saw? Well, I tell you, we have a shooting victim that's in critical condition that may lose her life. We had a uh, subject standing in the middle of the road with a handgun. We had a police car shot at tonight. And yes, I think that was a proper response tonight to maintain officer safety and public safety. So we, we didn't have more victims, whether that was law enforcement or some of our citizens. Do you have any information on the victim? We do know the victim is in critical condition. Is it a female? It is a male. Any idea where the gunshot came from? No, we do not. Is the person that was hit the same person that we were, had the handgun? Uh, no. We were responding to the victim that was shot. So that shooting, we were responding to uh, provide assistance to the person that was shot. So at this point, that's an investigation that I wouldn't have answers to. Clarify the shooting that the person was shot on West Florissant? It, it was on West Florissant, just on off West of West Florissant, yes. You don't know whether it was a protester or not? A protester. You don't know whether that individual who was injured was there to demonstrate or protest? This time, I don't know that. Do you have any information on the shooter? Excuse me? Any information on the who? No, we don't. We, we do not. I've given you all the information I have on the shooting at this time. St. Louis County is in the process of uh, doing an investigation. Well, 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 that, uh, that uh, a gunshot victim was transported uh, in a protester's car to the hospital. Was it the same person who was shot? Yes. Yes. Uh, by the time we responded down there, uh, some other protesters that were there had loaded the victim up in their car. They did call us. We were Our command center was in contact with them, and they told us where they were going to take the victim. What will the charges be on the seven arrestees? The charges will be failure to, dis dis to disperse. Missouri statute 574060. So all seven were for failure to disperse? Yes, they were. Did you apprehend the, the, the man who had a gun or the, the person had a gun? No, we didn't. Uh, we did observe him uh, running off as we... Uh, Just to be clear, the incidents that you responded to, the incidents that you responded to, the incidents that you responded to were not related to the course in the curfew. This just happened to be coincide with the curfew approaching midnight? Yes. Yes, they they were they were in conjunction with that. So, so then, if you did not have reports of people that had broken into the barbecue uh, establishment, would we not have seen the same type of response to the demonstrators that were defying the curfew? Our response was in relation to what was happening at Red's Barbecue. That's what our response was. At the same, what time did the shooting call come? I don't have that timeline here. We have Did you have to a 911 any? call, were you? Excuse me? You were responding to a 911 call in relation to... I don't know how that call came in, but we got the call. Uh, we were in contact with the uh, parties that were there with the victim. Yeah, Captain, any uh, response? Was, like, was there any looting tonight at all? Uh, not that we know of. Uh, those visitors were, were sustained. Uh, we had officers along both sides of uh, West Florissant. And uh, we did not observe any uh, uh, broken glass or any businesses or any alarm calls of uh, damage to the buildings. And did the tear gas come before or after the shots were fired? Excuse me? Did the tear gas go before or after the shots were fired? It came as we approached Red's Barbecue, uh, and we encountered the subject who, we, who had the weapon. And as we got closer, and we deployed the tear gas, and then he ran off. So the operation began before there was a shooting? The operation to clear the street. The operation began because of the uh, intelligence that we had that several subjects had entered Red's Barbecue and that they were armed. And did you end up sure. finding people Captain. in Red's Barbecue who were armed? Or when, not when we got there, uh, several several subjects ran from that as we approached that and got close to that building. Were there yes. Any other reports of shots fired? I mean, we heard some, something that sounded like gunshots while we were standing by the community. Yes, and I was out there and I did hear, hear several gunshots fired in the air while we were uh, standing out there. Were there if, other if there, were no, if there were no reports from people inside the barbecue establishment or any other uh, private property, uh, how would it be defiant? I'm, I'm not going to answer what ifs. I'm going to tell you what happened and why we had to have our response. Following the tear gas being fired yes, um, at the beauty shop on Florissant, there was some canine 
nine units that were crowding around the door. Was there anything that followed up after that? Excuse me? Say it again. Sorry. Um, at the beauty shop on Morrison near Ferguson, uh -huh. there were canine units that were crowding around the door. Um, were they responding to a call inside? No, we have a lot of officers out here, and, and as you know, if you know the police culture, uh, we have officers that are assigned canines, and that's their partner. So it's just we have officers assigned out here with all dudes. That just happens to be his partner. It had nothing to do with the response to that store. What time were these incidents reported to you? Because the watching the operation, it would appear that you started to move forward some 10 minutes after midnight which is why it appeared that you were responding to trying to force the curfew. So how much before that were these calls coming in about the man with the gun and so on? When we responded, it was in reference to what was going on at Red's Barbecue. It, you know, it just coincided with the curfew time. And that's all that I can tell you, but that's where we responded. And that's where if, I know some of you, most of you stayed back in the, uh, under the uh, yellow rope, but some of you, uh, found a way to be out there just a little bit and for you for you reporters who were out there I know that you saw that our there was a difference and that those tag teams responded right to Red's barbecue I gotta get my captain to bed tonight so let's take two more questions and I'm, I'm getting him out of here Sir, there was supposed to be a march from QT and Norton to Delaware organized by Fire from the night to stop people from coming and going on West Coast. No, there was not. There was not. Where was the first Captain, shot? it's 3 in the morning right now. Uh, what are you expecting the rest of the night? Are we expecting call from here out till daybreak? I expect that we will we will still patrol the area. We'll have officers patrolling the area throughout tonight to make sure that our citizens are safe and our businesses remain healthy. Our businesses have to remain healthy. You know, I talked to many citizens out there that said they have nowhere to go and get the things that they need. And so they have to remain healthy. And I can tell you that uh, prior to uh, tonight when we, I was there earlier, what time did we go down there? It was about, about 10 or 9, we walked down there. And several people came up and were standing talking to uh, protesters saying, hey, let's leave. And they were actually standing there in front of those businesses. And I can tell you, if they're willing to stand and protect those businesses, we're going to stand there also and protect those businesses. Thank you very much. We'll be back tomorrow for a more detailed